So, for you guys, you really have 15 minutes. After your presentation, you have to take a seat and receive questions by the commission. You may start. Good afternoon, teachers and activities. Uh, this is So to introduce the topic, a uh, was observed during the internship experience. Uh, here for our learners from different programs of the USD University. They are from a basic English class where uh, they, the main uh, source for these lessons uh, is a textbook used by the teacher of that class. And uh, the students are taking this class because it's a requirement for the uh, program. Okay? So uh, the main occupation is they use a lot of material for the, the teacher, the English teacher, and this material is uh, guided by the textbook used in that in that class. So um, it was observed in this class that they are uh, they have low writing ability. Uh, it was supported by the other diagnostic that was uh, applied to them. Then, was, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, something that caught my attention was the use of a textbook as main source of these English lessons. Um, everything that the teacher uh, applied, uh, teach, uh, in including the, 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 the care lessons, was based on this text that is that that don't work. So I um, made some research about this topic and I found a program established that textbooks are the most common form of material used in language lessons. So my research project is the impact that the textbook may have on the students' abilities to complete uh, the writing abilities of the textbooks and exercises. Okay? <coughs> and to complement this, it was a uh, of investigation and I found some uh, books that talked about the material that other learners need uh, to learn a second language and uh, the descriptions of the uh, activities and exercises that others should have for other learners and the advantages and disadvantages of it. So I wanted to go beyond that and study uh, textbook that is being used in this class in the, during these lessons uh, uh, is provided or was provided uh, the content and the exercise and the exercises and activities that it should provide for the learners to to complete a writing activities. Okay. So the the research question is which impact may have a textbook on for children and learners abilities to complete paragraphs? A research question. And to answer this question, there was said uh, objectives. The general objective is to explain this uh, the phenomenon explained, <coughs> the, to explain the impact that the textbook may have on the children's ability, specific ability. And the specific, the specific uh, objectives are first to describe the, the textbook writing objective features and tasks. And then, uh, to identify the factors of the textbook that uh, has impact on this student's ability. <laughs> the assumptions are first that the textbook using this basic English uh, class actually has impact on these learners, and this can be uh, because of the richness, the richness of language instructions of the textbook that was stated by, uh, by Brown. And that uh, the second assumption is that the textbook has a specific aspect that allows the students to complete their writing exercises and complete the textbook successfully. And this could be caused of the, uh, because of the cooperative styles of learning of the, of the uh, test. And that is the outcome that support this. Well, to uh, understand the, <coughs> the research, the work explains some uh, the main concepts, and I'm going to explain some of them that was important, for example, textbook, that uh, I needed to, but it was needed to uh, define it because uh, I it was needed to understand the role that a textbook has when the subject of the book of that uh, is a foreign language. So, um, Brown established that most common form of material for language. 
which instructions come from textbooks. So this is the main part of the research. Then from communicative approach, uh, it, it was important to, to define this concept because it is the approach of the textbook that was uh, stated by the authors of the textbook. And uh, mainly uh, <coughs> the, the communicative, the components of the communicative uh, approach are grammatical test for functional social emotions and strategy. Then the learning objective, we all know what the learning objective is, but I uh, wanted to mention because based on this uh, objective that was established by the author of the textbook, uh, the students will work to achieve through the activities this objective. Uh, the learning, uh, in the textbook. So what is the learning objective is a statement of what the students will be able to do when they have completed the instructions. <coughs> uh, well, to carry on this uh, research, which mainly follow the interpretive uh, part uh, Here is the uh, definition of it that seeks to investigate how human perceive and make sense of this form. Then uh, the method is a mixed uh, research that the goal is to use the strengths of the quantitative and quantitative uh, research to minimize the potential weaknesses of our research. So this is the method that then the design, the sequential exploratory design. Uh, why this? Because it implies an initial phase of population and analysis of uh, quantity data to uh, follow with the second phase, so that is the population analysis of quantity data. And this was the design that, that was uh, applied. The procedure, the field was created as a checklist based on the learning of the uh, elements of the textbook. This information collected from the checklist is organized into a descriptive chart. And uh, this descriptive chart um, uh, provides uh, many the main elements such as the objectives of the textbook, the features and tasks of the textbook. Then it uh, was selected an activity from the textbook to touch on one uh, in order to be applied to the students. And then, uh, uh, to, in order to compare with activity one, uh, it was created an activity two by the teacher, it is me, by me, uh, to apply to the students following a similar uh, instructions that the activity one. The, if the data collection, uh, the data collected in activity one and two was uh, evaluated by the that was created based on the, the, the elements of the descriptive chart that was found. And here you can see an, uh, some sample of the of the group. It has four criteria. And the results of this group uh, that was applied to each separation of the students uh, was organized into graphs and charts to collect uh, quantitative data. And then this data was analyzed. To, to finally make conclusions. <coughs> the, the scenario was the, the Santa Thomas University, actually I have a class of the Santa Thomas University, which uh, has all the elements to, uh, to carry on a lesson. And what the main uh, subject of the research is the textbook, that is the text on one uh, student book. And its main characteristic is that it is a beginner textbook, it has a, a extra material such as a book, a workbook, and it focuses on the communicative competencies of the language, and for, uh, it, has, it focuses on the core skills of the, the language. And finally, the students that are the other DFL other learners, and they are from 18 to 30 years old, female and male. The worthiness was followed by the predictability, transferability, dependability, and continuability. The dependability uh, by the process of data collection, analysis, data collection, transferability, and uh, the 
the state of the statement of the context and the accountability to the uh, elements that may influence the results and the confirmability that was uh, through the uh, process of review of, of the literature. The data collection was started with the application of the checklist to the textbook that was by, uh, applied by the uh, researcher. And then this information was organized in the descriptive chart that was spread in this work. Organizing into the criteria. Then it uh, was applied in activity one and activity two. This is an example of activity one and this is an example of activity two. Uh, the students in uh, this activity worked uh, individually and in this, uh, they worked uh, in groups and they have different times which is a uh, uh, complication in, the, in during the process of collection of data. <coughs> they have 15 minutes here and 30 minutes here. Then this, uh, the data collected was evaluated by, by, by a rubric. This is a sample of one of the rubrics and the rubrics once they have uh, analyzed, it was organized into charts and a graphs for criteria and for total scale. <coughs> this data, the uh, quantitative data, was uh, analyzed. Well, here you have the, the results of uh, activity one of the students, they were there. and the results of activity two that the the two groups that worked on this four criteria, such as four criteria. They have good, good results, and uh, the main uh, criteria study were form, theoretical expression, and maybe language limitation and influence. <coughs> well, the uh, main findings are that the students uh, actually have abilities to complete faculty activity following the instructions and content and help that the textbook uh, gives. But they also uh, are able to uh, complete writing activities following the oral um, instructions and other materials uh, help. Uh, then the students achieve the requirements of the criteria that are already formed. This means that they were able to write a paragraph in a topic sentence and then um, explain them in the develop the topic sentences in the uh, sentences. Then they were able to write a paragraph, paragraph uh, expressing the ideas in a clear and effective form. And this was a, a, this, um, a, an analysis for both activities, one and two. And it was more difficult in activity one than in activity two to achieve the requirements of the criteria that uh, already the authentic language, uh, the, theory, uh, the statement of clear, clear, clear and clear intentions, and the coherence of the purpose. Although this, they uh, got good results. Well, the human of research objectives. Related with the text, with the elements of the text. The, as I mentioned before, the students were able to write paragraphs, paragraphs with, uh, to complete uh, the uh, activities of the text also, following the, the, its in, instructions and its content and everything that it provides. And with that is related with the elements from um, the elements of the textbook, but they uh, are aligned with the objectives and the approach uh, that help the students to develop this uh, particular ability. And there is also an element that we wasn't considered that are the other learners' abilities. As other learners, they have uh, characteristics that are different from young learners and children. Uh, and this uh, ability is helpful too were a factor that uh, impact this and this too. Well, the limitations uh, of the research are the, this is, this uh, the 